good morning everyone uh, now uh, like let us come in the na last unit that is uh, unit number 4 because unit number 5 has been covered in the offline classes as well as in the online classes and uh, we were doing uh, like uh, unit number 3 earlier uh, like uh, before that this unit so now the turn is of uh, turn is of the unit which is from uh, like uh, microsoft powerpoint right now in uh, ms powerpoint what you have to do first of all you just open this microsoft powerpoint and i'll tell you that how to work with it so first of all like as you can check uh, the default slide will appear this is basically the default slide okay and uh, like in case of file we have we are having the same menus as i've told you earlier in the ms excel now the question arises like uh, how exactly uh, the rest of the menus work like home menu insert menu design transition animation slide show and uh, like uh, what is basically the most or uh, like the mostly used tools in case of ms powerpoint for example like uh, from here from here you can open one new slide as you will click on it then you can take one new slide okay this is basically one uh, like one uh, file this is one complete file but if you want to add one new slide slide means one by one if you want to add one new slide then you have a choice like which kind of slide you want to add for example if you will click on this arrow button then you can check that you can take the slide according to you like if you want only the title slide then just click on it if you want the title slide as well as with content title with content then you will click on this title and content and if you want only the section header file then you just click on it and if you want uh, like uh, one slide where like with the uh, like two contents means in the heading part you want only the heading part and in the uh, like content part you want two content part so for the, that purpose you can select this slide and then one come like for example you are making one table for differentiating any uh, two headings or any two uh, like uh, topics so for that purpose also you are having one slide mean means in case of that you are having the heading in case of content part also then the title only slide is also there one blank slide is also there if you want to like add one picture if you want to insert one picture into it then you can take the blank slide then means different there are number of slides which you can add in, in like in your powerpoint presentation right and then the next thing is layout what is the meaning of layout basically layout means like which kind of slide you want to add so that is known as layout so if any question asked about uh, like what exactly the meaning of layout in case of ms powerpoint then you have to write about it like layout means uh, like which kind of slide you want to add whether it is like there are number of options in case of layout okay in the like i'll send you some tutorials also like uh, how to answer these questions right so first of all you just take uh, like you just have a look uh, like how to use these tools which are available here and what are the important tools and what exactly the important tools which we generally use in our uh, like day to day life or in our office work then then after that what exactly uh, we are having for example you are taking uh, this is first slide and you are taking one title here for example uh first of all what you do you just insert one design like you just take one design for example you are taking this design so you are applying this otherwise you just take like this one okay now what you do you just insert the title within it for example introduction introduction to ms powerpoint and in case of subtitle you are taking uh, like uh, types of menus types of menus in, in, in i 
types of language in MS PowerPoint, right? So this is basically the title part and this is the subtitle part. Now, in second slide, what you want to do, for example, you want to like uh, insert some shapes within it. So what do you do, even though you can change the background style also, like if you want to change the background uh, like, like this, so you can apply from here also. Effects you can change, like uh, you can change the effects like from this also. So number of things are there and you can do it or you know, like you can make changes within it according to uh, like uh, like taking the option from this design manual right now uh, like in case of uh, like home menu if you will click on home menu then there are some shapes uh, which are available so in the like in our daily like uh, in our daily life whenever we just work on uh, like on some projects or uh, like on assignments or any like any of the f uh, for any of the file or for any like for making the seminar as well as if we are working in our office then we have like we want to insert any of the shape into it then what we can do we can take the number of shapes from here for example you want to take the shape so what you do you just take it and if you want to change the color of it then what you do you just change the color or you just fill this shape from here right and if you want to insert any text within it then what you do you just right click on it you just right click on it and click on this edit text then whatever you want to type it will come here it will appear here okay it will appear here done so this is the thing uh, like which you want to add in your powerpoint slide and like for example if, if you want to use these arrow then you can do it like this you just copy it by pressing ctrl plus c then you just take one another arrow and you just rotate it right even though you can use uh, the, the arrow keys also and if you want to draw one another shape here then you can do it okay and how you can do it you just like uh, uh, you just uh, rotate the shapes like this okay like this you can do it you can change the position of these shapes and if you want to add one another shape within it then what you do just take some another shape within it for example this and if you want to change the color of it then you can do it this is the text fill basically and you have to take you have to take the shape color you have to take the shape color right so shape color is this shape color is this and if you want to change it like this then you can do it then you can do it right and like the same figure you want to add for another uh, for another figure then what you do just copy it and paste it here and if you want to add something then right click on it right click on it and edit text and then now you can write anything within it even though you can change the font color also like we just select it and after that click on text field click on text field. done